Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Easy Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to create a model box where we will display the cookies message. This cookies message model box or pop-up can be displayed immediately after loading the web page or you can also add some time delay. Here I have added some time delay. When I load this website, this model box is displaying after a few seconds. Here we have this close icon to close this model box and we can also click on this accept button to close this model box. We will create this cookies message model box using HTML, CSS and very simple JavaScript. So let's start the video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. And in this one, you can see one close icon and one cookies icon. You can find these icons download link in the video description. Now we will open these files with my code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added the margin padding, font family and box sizing that is applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. And here we have the title. Next, we will add codes in the body tag. So here in this body, we will create one div with the ID model box. In this model box, there will be one icon. So we will add the IMG tag, write the file path images slash cookies dot PNG. And here we will add one class name. It is cookies. After that, we will add one text in p tag. So here we have the text, then we will add one button. Button type will be button and button text will be accept. After adding this, we will come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this cookie icon, this message and this accept button. Next, we will add some CSS. So just come back and here in this CSS file, we will add body for this body. We will change the background color. So here we will add the background and one color code. Now again, come back and refresh the website. You can see this dark color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open the web page with the Visual Studio Code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically. Again, you can see the same web page. Next, we will add the CSS for the model box. So here we have the model box with the ID. So here in this CSS file, we will add this ID with the hashtag. Here we will change the position, position absolute, top 50% and left 50%. Then we will add the transform translate minus 50% and minus 50%. So it will be in the center of the web page. You can see it is in the center. Again, come back here. We will add the width. Width will be 80% and maximum width will be 450 pixel. Then we will add the text align center and let's add some padding. It will be 80 pixel from top and bottom and 60 pixel from left and right side. Here we will increase the font size. Font size will be 18 pixel and font weight will be 500. After that, again, come back to the web page. You can see it looks like this. We need to add the background. So here we will add the background. It will be white. Now it looks good. Next, we have to add the CSS for the cookies icon. So just come back and here we have the class name. Just copy this one and add it here. Here we will change the width. It will be 100 pixel and we need some space below this icon. So margin bottom 15 pixel. Now the cookies size is good. In this white box, we will add the border radius. So let's come back and here in this model box, we will add border radius 8 pixel so that you can see the corners round. Next, we will design the button. Just come back and here you can see we have the 
div with the id model box and inside this div we have the button so come to the css file here we will add model box and button now in this button we will change the background then button color that will be white some padding border radius will be 4 pixel so that the corners will be round by 4 pixel then font size and font weight width will be 100 percent and border 0 outline 0 we need space from the top so we will add the margin top 50 pixel and cursor pointer after that this button looks good next we have to add the shadow for this button just come back and in this button we will add box shadow 0 10 pixel and 15 pixel and color it is black color with 0.2 opacity next we have to place one close icon just come back and in this html file after this button we will add one img tag file path of the image images slash close dot png and here we will add one class name it is close icon just copy this class name write it here in the css file and for this close icon we will add width it will be 25 pixel and height also 25 pixel and position will be absolute and at the top it will be at 25 pixel and right also 25 pixels so it will be in the top right corner of the box let's add the cursor pointer so you can see this close icon here right now whenever you will refresh the website this pop-up will be displayed immediately now we need some time delay to display the pop-up just come back and here in this model box we will add display none so it will be hidden there is no model box here it is hidden next we have to display it after loading the web page so just come back and come to the html file just above this closing body tag here we will add a script script open and closing tag here let's add the variable let model box equal to document dot get element by id and write this id model box we have to display this model box with some time interval so here we will add function so model Here we will add set timeout here we will add thousand that is thousand millisecond and in this one we will add model box dot style dot display and display will be block so it will be visible next we have to run this function whenever we will load the web page so here in this body we will add on load equal to so model so whenever we will load the web page it will run this function so model and it will display this model box after one second you can see if I refresh the website, it will be hidden and displayed after one second. Let's come back and change the time. Three seconds. So you can see it is hidden and it is displaying after three seconds. So you can add the time delay. Next, we have to add the 
close option when we will click on the close icon or accept button it should hide this pop-up so just come back and here we will add another function close model and simply add this one model box style dot display none so it will be hidden and copy this one write it here in this close icon we will add on click equal to close model and in this button also here we will add on click equal to close model like this after adding this come back to the web page here this model box is displaying after 3 seconds and if I click on the accept it is hiding this. Let's refresh the website again and here we have the pop-up if I click on the close icon it will hide this one. So this cookies message model box is working fine. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.